Hello all and welcome back. In this video, we are going to cover CloudFront functions followed by a quick demo. CloudFront helps write your own code to customize how the CloudFront distribution process HTTP requests and responses. The code runs closer to the viewers or the users to minimize latency and without having to manage your own servers or other infrastructure. CloudFront Edge functions currently supports Lambda at Edge and CloudFront functions. CloudFront functions run in Edge locations and is a CloudFront native feature and visible only on the CloudFront dashboard. It supports lightweight functions written only in JavaScript language and scales to millions of requests per second. It provides process-based isolation. However, unlike Lambda at Edge, it only supports viewer request and viewer response trigger events. It supports sub-millisecond execution time. CloudFront functions are built to be more scalable, performant, and cost-effective, but they have the following limitations. They do not provide network access, file system access, and they cannot access the request body. CloudFront functions are ideal for use cases including lightweight processing of web requests like cache key manipulations and normalization, URL rewrites and redirects, HTTP header manipulation, and access authorization. In this demo, we are going to create a CloudFront function and attach it to an existing CloudFront distribution. This CloudFront function will add caching and security headers to the response. We already have a CloudFront distribution created from our previous origin groups demo. Let's navigate to the origins tab. We already have two S3 buckets configured as origins and an origin group created. Let's navigate to the Behaviors tab. We have a default wildcard behavior created and the behavior points to the origin group. The viewer is configured to redirect HTTP to HTTPS. Cache policy is configured to disable the caching. And we do not have any functions associated yet with the behavior. Let's quickly test the changes. Let's navigate back to the general tab and copy the CloudFront distribution domain name. Let's open the primary HTML page and it works. Let's open the web developer tools and the network tab. We are going to check the response headers. It already has few response headers from CloudFront. We will be adding additional caching and security headers using our CloudFront function. Let's create our CloudFront function. Let's navigate to functions. We do not have any functions created yet. Let's create our new CloudFront function. Let's name the function CloudFront functions demo. We will leave the description blank and let's proceed to create the function. You can add the function code here. CloudFront function supports only lightweight functions written in JavaScript language. Let's replace the template code with our custom code. The custom code adds a cache control caching header and few security headers including cross-site scripting protection, frame options and others to the response. Let's save our changes. You can also test your function from the same interface but for now let's go ahead and publish the function. And the function has been published. Let's associate the CloudFront function with our CloudFront distribution. We can associate the CloudFront distribution either from here or by editing the CloudFront distribution behavior as well. 
Let's do it from here and we can check it from the CloudFront distribution behavior later. Let's click on the Add Association. We will select our distribution which is currently the only distribution available. CloudFront functions can be associated with only the viewer request and the viewer response events. Let's select the viewer response event as we would only be adding headers to the response. Let's select the default wildcard behavior which is also the only one that we have in the CloudFront distribution behavior. We are good with the configuration. Let's go ahead and create the association. The association has been created and the CloudFront distribution would be updated with the changes. We can verify the mapping from our CloudFront distribution as well. Let's navigate back to our CloudFront distribution, Behaviors tab and let's edit the default behavior. Let's go to the Functions Association and the Functions Association has the CloudFront functions mapped to the viewer response event. Let's test our changes by refreshing the primary HTML page. It works and let's check the response headers. And the response headers have been updated. We can now see the additional cache and the security headers being added to the response. And that's it for the quick demo on CloudFront functions. CloudFront functions run in the edge location and can be used to execute code closer to the user and can help serve multiple use cases. I hope you liked the demo. Thank you all. Alright, that was it. Thank you for watching. You can check out my website and connect me on LinkedIn and Twitter. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. For any feedback, please leave a comment down below. To see more videos like this in the future, hit the subscribe button. Thank you.